This is Aubrey Baracchio for Architect Exam Prep. Welcome to Vignette Walkthrough for Site Grading Number 2, which can be found in your Vignette Review Guide. Step number one is to read the program and make sure you understand it thoroughly. Even though every program will be slightly different, the process to solve each vignette will be the same. Since Eric already walked us through the program for site grading number one, we'll move right now to the solution for number two. Using the chart provided in the vignette study guide, fill in the information given in the program. You can see here we've used the chart to fill in the program information. This can also be used as a checklist to make sure you don't forget anything important. For step two, open the site plan and review all the important features, such as contour intervals, locations of any elements that need to be protected, and the direction of the slope. Make sure you note these items in your note chart on your scrap paper. In step number three, we're going to choose the level area. You can start by selecting a contour line for the location of the level area for the element that you are to place. Make sure it's away from any property lines, any elements that need to be protected, and steep sloping topography. As you can see here, the contour line at 38 feet would be a good location for the new home as it is far enough away from the garage but not too steep of a slope. Step number four is to place the element on the site. Place it at a location on the contour line where the surrounding contour lines would be the easiest to adjust. Avoid any closely spaced contours as this indicates a steep slope. Here we've placed the new home centered over the 38 foot contour as that will be the level area. After placing the home on the site, Rotate it so that it is perpendicular to the contours for proper site drainage. Step number five is to set the finished floor elevation. Indicate the finished floor elevation for the new home. Be sure to stay within any minimums or maximums given in the program. Here, since we've chosen contour line number 38, we've set the finished floor elevation four inches above it at 38 feet four inches. Using the Set Elevation tool, you can manually input these numbers. However, make sure you type in the full 38 feet four inches. Because if you only type in four inches, your finished floor elevation would only be four inches above sea level. Step number six is to regrade the level area. Regrade the level area contour line so that it wraps completely around the new home on three sides and forms points on the uphill side that are close together but don't touch. Be sure not to enclose this area or water will not drain properly. Step seven is to regrade the other contour lines. Regrade the contour lines adjacent to your level area so that the minimum and maximum slope requirements for spacing between the lines is met. This may require a trial and error process in order to make sure you've chosen the best location for the level area. For this vignette, the slope of the regraded portions of the site shall be at least 2% and no more than 15%. To calculate these numbers, use the formula from the study guide, width equals interval divided by slope. Here, the contour interval is one foot and the maximum slope is 15% or 0.15, which equals 6.67 feet. Using sketch circles, make sure you space your contour lines a minimum of 6.67 feet apart. Otherwise, your slope would be greater than 15%, which would exceed the program maximum because it would be too steep. You can also use sketch lines to stay within the minimum slope values using the same formula. Step eight is to continue regrading the site. Continue regrading your contour lines until all of your altered lines are within the minimum and maximum slope requirements. There is no need to adjust existing contours that you have not altered or that are not near your design element, even if they violate the slope requirements. You are only required to regrade in the most efficient manner possible. Step nine is to double check the requirements. Check your solution against your notes from the program to make sure all requirements are met. Use sketch lines and circles to make sure the minimum and maximum slope requirements are met as well. Step 10 is to check the notes again. Revisit your notes chart and check off each item to make sure you didn't miss anything. If you catch an error, use any remaining time to try to fix it without negatively affecting the rest of your solution. Step 11 is to submit your solution. Once you have double checked all of your notes from the program, on the toolbar, click on the Review Vignettes button. This will take you back to the Vignette Home screen where you can switch to the Site Design Vignette. You can see other passing and failing solutions for this vignette and others in our vignette review guide. This has been Aubrey Baracchio for Architect Exam Prep, and thank you for joining me for vignette walkthrough for site grading number two.